Hey guys, it's Mad Rabbit back in Medieval Minecraft Creations, and uh, today we're continuing in this entire uh, block here. And it's sort of like where we left off last, last at the end of last episode, uh, if you remember. We built these smaller, well actually I wouldn't even call them smaller, uh, these buildings off these sides in the back of our, uh, I, I'm calling it a, a Viking longhouse, but um, whatever you want to call it, like the founding fathers of the city, it's more like a um, non-military, non-royalty based um, building compared to the actual structure over here, which is the main keep of our castle, the inner part. And, um, and I had said I had wanted to make houses and everything in this particular in this particular block to sort of all resemble the same architectural elements that I did in these and this uh, whole building here, the Viking thing. And um, so in that in that vein, I did sort of uh, make a few starter houses here. And um, what's going to happen is I'm going to try and make maybe a few more. And obviously they're not really completely complete yet, but they're mostly complete. And in what I'm going to be doing is copying and pasting a lot of these once I get them complete. And um, I figured I'd show you some of them. Most of these are going to be there for show. Um, I, I'm actually not going to be designing the insides, uh, putting stuff in there. Most of it's just like, um, as long as it looks decent on the outside, I'm going to keep them lit up in here. I'm just going to try not to bog down the this file size any more than it already is by putting way too much detail in them. Or we may come back at some later point and do decorations on these, um, customizing the houses or something. If I feel like I, I want to do like more interior design episodes where I kind of discuss interior design. I did sort of do that, that pitched roof on uh, this one here, if you remember, but it sort of alternated um, just like I did in that one because you can, it almost becomes too pitched if you do it as every every one being like this where you put a block and then one. So um, I did that in this and it, it came up pretty decent. I think if I went with the other approach, if I did this style on each one, it would have been too tall and would, look, would not have looked right. But um, some of these are two level, some one level, as you can see. And I just I, I made a ladder going up. I didn't go too elaborate. Obviously, there's nothing in these, but they're there for whatever show or whatever. Um, this one here kind of went back to my my other style. Um, I didn't want to use the logs. I wanted to have them slightly differentiated from the actual the longhouse itself, so I decided to use planks on, on this on the outside. Um, you could always go in and do some variation like, okay, I'll copy this house over there, but I'll I'll change these into the logs just to, you know, just some for, for some variety or something. Um, and do some decorations on the outside if you want. Also, again, up here, second level um, I have the option of making walls in here, cordoning off the rooms and making a room, maybe even um, putting a ceiling here and having an attic. Uh, probably could do, well, let's just do this on this one, a little attic window. I'm probably not going to do that for this. And we can just play around the designs. Um, for the most part, uh, I am going to be doing copying my front design which this is what the front design is on all these and basically on the side as long as you just um, you're getting a repeatable pattern and it looks decent like in this case you always want obviously want to have a spacer in between you don't want to have your you don't want to have your window up against this so I did like well let's try two and two so I did two and then in space of two and you can always like do two and one or two and three or or whatever. There's all kind of things you can do. Same thing with the interiors. Like on all these, you can actually go in and change these out and put like a rug in uh, with the cloth, uh, different cloth wool blocks if you want or whatever. I've done a lot of, obviously a lot of prepa preparation work making those three houses. And um, so it's been already for me quite a long project just to make this. 
So um, you're only going to see a little bit more today. I'm sorry I'm not doing a lot of building on air lately because of this um, high definition change. Uh, everything matters. File size matters. Um, some of this stuff is just stuff you've seen before, so it really would be kind of boring. Um, as long as you can just basically check out and see what I'm doing, as far as measurements go, you guys can get the same inspiration and make these things yourself. Um, and see what you like and what you don't like and what you don't like. Um, I did keep sort of the that element there too. I didn't want to hang it off by too much, but I did sort of do that. I did that in the other ones. And if you're just like not caring what things look like on the inside, you could copy um, some sort of a chimney design on these too. It will look a lot better. Um, I'm not quite sure I want to do that, but you know what I'm going to do? I think I might actually do that. Uh, let's see, let's actually do it out of cobble. Yeah, I got cobble in there. And I'll just cop it, top this off of that. Um, and you can just do it anywhere. And I think I do like the idea of doing this because it, it, this will it'll make it look a little better doing stuff like that. And maybe these would be on. Oh, uh, let's see. Nope. Something like that. You can make small ones, big ones, however you want to do it. But um, it's sort of uh, just, again, it's up to you if you want to embellish stuff like this. And um, to me, because I'm doing, I'm going to be copying these all over the place, I do. I don't want to waste too much time after the fact going back in and putting in my own chimneys. Um, so what I'm going to do now is pause this. I am going to um, try and make maybe one or two more up. Then I'm going to do, be doing a lot of um, copy pasting of these houses in the uh, tool that I use called MC Edit. Uh, links are always in the description for these mods I use. Um, yeah, currently I, I'm not using the Too Many Items mod. The 1.1 patch for Minecraft came out and um, it did it stopped working for me so I'd have to reinstall the mod thing and I really don't want to go through all that right now to be honest with you I'm just it, I don't think it's really worth it the effort I'm just gonna I'll use the beds to sleep and when it rains well let's have to deal with the rain um, so let me pause here okay guys we're back uh, I know from your perspective it's only been a half a millisecond but uh, my perspective has been about two hours here of pure work and I did make this one more house up and I will show you that in a little bit but I did quite a bit of work on here I am not done so keep that in mind if you're gonna there's a lot of spaces here that aren't filled in yet they're gonna get filled in with more houses and some landscaping work around here so keep that in mind as I go over this um, here's the front of the place um, I did want to have a few actually looking like they actually went into the side of the of the um, the wall in the front. I had to do a little bit of adjustments on them, and I got to put some blocks in there. I'll do that later though. Um, that side I have not done yet, but like I said before, uh, I might have some more houses here or maybe some landscaping, but I don't want the houses too close to the actual hill and this these buildings. So there's going to be space there and maybe trees. Like uh, I started to do a little bit of work here, um, just throwing out a few trees and stuff um, in the little areas in between. Uh, this one here is playing a little bit with the elevations too, trying to make the houses go up a little bit on those the larger house. I may try something like that on the other side too, actually going higher than this. But mostly all the way around, I did that design we were talking about several episodes ago where I asked your opinion um, and I may actually eventually add some street lamps too into this like integrate them in but uh, that's debatable right now it seems to be throwing down quite a bit of light um, yeah, here or there I, oops I still don't have all the um, darn it uh, I still don't have all the things linked up to the side of the road yet um, like that so there are some here that are like alleyways that I only did it on one side for because it would have looked a little too claustrophobic if you just did both sides um, but for the most part some of them might 
get uh, deleted. Some of these houses are right up against the house, uh, the, the the walkways, and um, this is sort of the desired effect right here. Like this this thing here is just too narrow. Too, it's too narrow. You wouldn't you wouldn't put these in there. But um, so I sort of did some spacing here too, making sure you had three, and um, you know because if you had it like right up on extended up to the right to the thing, it would it wouldn't look right. So. And some of them I integrated right into the, you know, right into the, the walls like that. So like down here, I actually basically did the whole thing. How the alleyway would look wider. And obviously it's not all done yet, but this one here I didn't do yet. I forgot. But that's sort of basically what I'm doing here, guys. Um, so you have the general idea. Um, I think, like, off-air, I will probably do more of this project. Um, most likely finishing it off and landscaping. Um, I may not do it right now, but it... Uh, so our next project is probably not going to be this. We won't be doing too much more of this. I, maybe I'll show you this at a later point the finished product if I do finish it I don't know if I'm gonna finish it right now or not but uh, basically this is what it's gonna be um, this these areas in front will be left open but uh, you're gonna have a lot of houses filling this area all the way up the road and right up to there too like basically all the way down here kind of like what we do the other side it's just not gonna be too much different now different blocks in our in our castle we're gonna they're gonna go with a different look. I'm not going to do them all like this. Um, this here, I wanted the actual borough, the district, that of these houses all look the same. I mean, I may do some that are more like all cobble. And maybe, you know, maybe this will be all cobble. Or I'm not saying it's going to be, but it's a possibility. I may play around with some other stuff too. You never know. Other designs. Um, some of them are going to be mismatched. Like, um, just there will be different uh, different houses, different shapes, different sizes. Um, obviously, we'll maybe at some later point have some sort of a rich person's district and a poor slum district and all that. But um, this is sort of the desired effect here, and I think it's coming along pretty nicely. Um, so I think we'll end this episode. Some of these things do still going to get touched up like that, but... Um, Hopefully you guys will catch um, catch me soon. Uh, obviously I'm not I'm not quite sure what the next project is gonna be, but we're gonna get away from the Viking Longhouse area and go to another project. Um, probably not houses either. <laughs> Do something different. Um, I don't know yet. Well, we'll figure it out. Uh, so this is Mad Rabbit signing off. I guess I'll catch you guys next time. And um, I'm hoping also, I've been thinking lately about doing maybe another extended channel update or game talk. You know how I used to do the game talk videos where I talked about certain subjects. I have a few things on my mind I want to talk about. And they're not me whining and complaining for once. Uh, it's actually got to do a few other things. And um, so it might be, might be interesting. So I might make one of those up. Those won't be in high definition, so I'll be able to actually <laughs> just upload it quickly and do it on spur of the moment or whatever. But um, for right now, I guess we'll just sign off and catch you next time. Mad Rabbit, out of here.